Let's talk about one of the economic application of uh, unconstrained optimization here. Um, how do we go about it? Suppose it, there is multi-product perfectly comparative firm. There are two products which this firm is trying to sell. One is X and other is Y. And the price of X and price of Y are 1 and 2 respectively. Say cost function is given to you as, uh, as uh, 2X square plus XY plus 2Y square. Suppose if this is the cost function. So first of all what we'll try to do is that we'll try to find out the total revenue function. Total revenue function is PX into X which is the revenue from X plus PY into Y which is the revenue from Y minus CXY that is the cost. That's the sorry that is the profit not the total revenue. I'm so sorry. So let me just delete this. Yeah. So this is the profit of the firm. Um, this is the profit of the firm. And you want to find out uh, the maximum profit. So <clears throat> let's let's plug in the values here. So 1 into x is x plus 2 into y. In place of PY, we'll just write 2 minus. 2x square plus xy plus 2y square. Okay, so it is x plus 2y minus 2x square minus xy minus 2y square. Suppose you have this. This is the function which you have. So this function, as you could see, this is the function in x and y. So the first order conditions which will be defined, you will have to calculate two partial derivatives, one with respect to x and other with respect to y. So what is del pi by del x? 1 minus 4x minus y equal to 0. One is this. Another is del pi by del y which will be equal to 2 minus x minus 4y equal to 0. So these are the two conditions which you have. One is uh, uh, 4x, I'm just writing this in a simplified form, 4x plus y equals to 1. Another is x plus 4y equals to 2. So these are the two equations which you have. So what you can do is that supposedly if you if you multiply the other equation, the, the second equation by say minus 4, okay, so what will you have is, I'm writing it here, minus 4x minus 16y is equal to minus 8. You will have this, just let's get, and then what you can do is that you can calculate it. What will you have is basically just adding these two equations, these two equations, adding these two equations, you'll have minus 15y equals to minus 7 or y is equal to 7 by 15. And in case if y is equal to 7 by 15, you can calculate the value for x, which is from the first equation, say 4x plus 7 by 15 equals to 1. So which is 4x equals to 1 minus 7 by 15, which is 8 by 15. So x is equal to 8 by 15 into 1 upon 4, which is 2 by 15. So you get these two values of x and y, which are from the first order conditions, which are 2 by 15 and 7 by 15. I don't know what kind of products are these, which have uh, such decimal values for uh, for their products. Anyways, um, my point is to, just to teach you the mathematical tool right uh, right away. Now the point is that you have got these values. Now your second point is to find out whether these values are maximum or minimum whatsoever they. So we'll calculate the second order conditions. First of all, let's rewrite the first order conditions which you have here, which is uh, which is uh, del pi by del x is basically 1 minus 4x minus 4y equal to 0. 1 is that. 
another is del pi by del y is 2 minus x minus 4y equal to 0. These are the two first order conditions which you have. Now you have to calculate the second order conditions. So we have to form the Hessian matrix. In this case Hessian matrix is since this is just two equations so you'll have uh, 2 by 2 Hessian matrix which is F11 F12 F21 F22. This is the Hessian matrix which you will have to calculate. Okay let's try to calculate what is uh, del pi by del 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 pi del 2 pi by del x2 which will be minus 4 okay and uh, then what is del 2 pi by del x del y which is equal to again minus 4 hmm? this is the this is the first order condition which you have differentiated again with one with respect to x and then with respect to y. Then you have del 2 pi by del y del x which is minus 1 and del 2 pi sorry del 2 pi del y 2 which is minus 4 again. So you have calculated these values this is F11, this is F12, this is F21 and this is F22. So you can put these values here which is minus 4, minus 4, minus 1, minus 4. Okay, so this is you have, this is the matrix which you have. So what is H1? H1 is minus 4 so determinant of this minus 4 is going to be minus 4 which is negative what is h2 h2 is minus 4 into minus 4 which is 16 minus minus 1 into minus 4 which is 4 which is equal to 12 so which is 0 oh sorry greater than 0 so h1 less than 0 h2 greater than 0 this is signaling towards the point of maxima that that the point which you have calculated from the first order conditions which is x is equal to 2 by 15 and y equals to 7 by 15 they are indeed the point of maxima as as you have found out the sufficient conditions also for the point of maxima okay